everybody this is Jalisa thank you so much for coming back to my channel in this video for today Thursday January 2nd 2020 uh, I'm going to talk about um, circumstances that happen um, at work and your workplace and you know it's hard to deal with them very hard especially if you're a Christian um, so we're going to talk about that today Hi everybody, thank you so much for coming back. Um, so here's the thing, you know, we just celebrated the new year, you know, today's the 2nd of January 2020. It's a brand new year, everybody's ready to kind of like take over the world. In my case, I had a good time, you know, I did get a little, uh, I don't, it's hard to explain it, you know, because um, I got a little kind of sad in the sense that I was in some, maybe losing a little hope. But um, when I feel like that, when I feel like there's nothing, like, you know, like I feel very um, sad and hopeless. And, and I know this doesn't come from God, so I immediately try to, like, fix myself. Not by myself, but in the sense of, like, you're thinking the wrong thinking, you know. And the Bible talks about a lot about renewing the, your mind. And, you know, it's just... I know those thoughts of hopelessness and feeling sad is not from God. Yes, we as human beings, we can experience emotions, but to feel like there's no ending to your situation, you know that's not from God because we have the victory in Jesus, right? So I was feeling like, <clears throat> you know, I'm going through a situation, you know, my workplace. Um, as you know, I'm a fashion designer, but I also have a side job too, um, which is like my main um, income, which is my full-time job. And um, just the past couple months before the year ended, it has been very hard for me. Um, everybody said, you know, you spend so much time at work, um, this and that. And But to be honest, guys, even if you do a good job at your workplace, even if you try to be the best, be the always on time, you just do everything by the book. There are going to be people that, that don't like you for some reason or, or another. And there are going to be people that would just hate on you. Um, and would do anything that they can in their power to kind of like get you out. Um, try to fire you. Put um, put stuff from the higher up's mind about you. Like negative comments, negative stuff that you do. Just trying to build up a rap, rap case, a, you know, report about you. Just so that they kind of like see what they're trying to do even though you've been there for a while even though you've been doing you been you have like no bad record as an employee there comes somebody who just kind of just hates on you and you know they will do whatever they can to like kind of like fire you make the people in authority fire you so anyways i've been going through that and um, i'm being a hundred percent honest here <laughs> and um because I didn't know like what, what I was going to talk about, but it got real for me because I was like, oh my goodness, um, the way the attack happened to me, I was like, there's something else behind that person. Like, I immediately knew because it went from like, oh, you know, you do such a good job, I like what you do, to like, I hate you, I don't want to see you, I don't think you, are, you should be working here. And when people change like that, yes, there might have been things that were blown out of proportion that I have done, completely born, uh, blown out of proportion, you know? But it was so like that nine day, and I knew me that like I sensed it in me, like it's like there's something bigger behind that motive, the way I was being attacked. So I was like, you know, let me just calm down myself because I'm not gonna wanna get down to their level. And then I was like, you know what? just gonna have them do whatever they have to do scream at me say things bad about me i'm just gonna keep quiet and i was just thinking about jesus during that moment because i'm like you know during the crucifixion of jesus when he was put like he was brought to like the trial i guess um he kept very quiet and they were like uh, very amazed about that they were like you you know 
you want to not say anything kind of um so i was like let me just be like jesus in this moment because it's the, everything that was being said is so negative and i wasn't even allowed to speak and that's the hardest part but i was like it was hard very hard but i was like i'm not gonna say anything because i feel like there's something bigger behind this motive that's the person is acting like that towards me um, I thought we were cool and it just went like completely south and I was like oh my goodness but anyway so I was thinking about that in the new years because I'm like I don't like I like it now but I'm like I'm, I can't be there like that you know this person hates on me everything I do is wrong so why so now it's like oh my goodness I have to like <clears throat> excuse me I have to like do something else right um but I'm like, you know what, God is in control of everything. I, you know, I was communicating with my sister, everything that was happening. She just kept saying to me, you know, Julie, there's nothing that they can do to you that's not being allowed by God. So just, you know, and whatever comes out of it, God has the best interest for you. So just don't, just, you know, just be okay. Like, I was ready to just not show up anymore. Um, thank God I didn't because... It would have been like, it's not me. Like, I was like, that is not me. Like, I don't do that stuff. Like, I don't. Anyways, guys. So, uh, thinking about that, you know, you when the new year comes in, you kind of think about everything that happened to you, good and bad, obviously. Um, so, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, like, change my attitude, change my thinking. I'm like, you know, God has the best for us. You know, we are his beloved children. So I'm just going to think, you know, that this is going to be the best year ever. You know, and um, I started feeling a lot better um, because I know, you know, it's not like I'm just like doing this hopeful thinking. It's just that we know that Jesus got victory in the, on the cross. So why are you letting yourself allowed to be sad um, or being get tormented by somebody who treats you badly? Obviously, it's not them, you know. The Bible said we don't fight with um, flesh and bones you know our fight is not with like that so a spiritual fight so i knew immediately there's something else spiritually as spiritual that was happening so i'm glad i didn't overreact to like lose my control um thank god for that because another person would have been going off crazy it would have been very bad i think um but anyways i just want to say um i just have this feeling like it's gonna be a great year because um you know be just thinking about everything like i also you know i was analyzing what happened to me you know i did so many shows this year this is the year the past 2019 has been the year where i did the most fashion shows i did the most like i mean well not a lot of photo shoots but i don't think i did any but oh yeah i did a, yeah during the fashion shows you do a lot of photos but it was like a very interesting year when it came to like big venues and big opportunities so i was like you know you do so much you do so much and the brand is just not selling and it's like i was like oh so this is how my night is gonna be you know like sit and just bring all those negative things to you and i was like it's not gonna happen so thank god i immediately changed i'm like changed my head my my mind i was like yeah no god because you know even when you think like your own like whole like soul is like telling you like don't think like that i was like oh my gosh like i have this situation where i work and now you know i don't know what i'm gonna do with my branding and it's like oh and i'm like i'm not gonna let like god has something for me and i know and i feel it so i'm just gonna keep at it you know i'm just gonna keep at it and keep believing that whatever he started in me he's gonna be faithful and he's gonna finish it so i was like okay i feel so much better now because you have to go back to the bible you know every time you feel sad and hopeless always go back to your bible and like know that god has the best in store for you um so also one thing too that happened you know i started my youtube channel and being more consistent with it i didn't start it like this this year the past but I, it was just there and I didn't really pay attention to it but I'm seeing you guys subscribing and liking and commenting it really makes me feel great because it's like you know your work um, your effort is being validated and I appreciate that you know everybody wants to f to hear at some point in their life you know you're doing a good job 
because and that's something else like a lot of people in the workplace they're so quick to find mistakes and nobody says oh thank you for doing that oh that was really good you'd be good on that but you know it's just type of personalities type of management type of people that keep putting to leadership positions that have no leadership skills and like they're so quick to just finding errors errors and errors and it's like oh my goodness do you have anything positive to say to me but anyways um we know who we work for um i know we don't do it for them we work for god and representing god everywhere we go but you know just as a human being you still want to hear like dude say something positive one day like anything like you know it's like i only communicate with you when you find an error like say something else you know but anyways um everything has been controlled um right now i still don't know when what's gonna happen um i don't know where god is leading me but i just have this feeling that something really good is about to happen and i'm so excited and uh, what i was saying about the channel is that you know i had those days that i'm like oh my goodness jesus like i gotta keep fighting the good fight and then i come here and i see that you guys are subscribing and liking the channel so excited you know um but anyways i just wanted to like do this quick video kind of like a diary of what's been happening to me and I haven't been posting because I've been busy, you know, everybody's getting busy with the holidays, but anyways, I am going to be making more videos, I am going to be talking about other topics, you know, more in depth and stuff like that. Um, thank you so much for coming back and subscribing, you know, I really, really appreciate you guys subscribing, I'm trying to build this channel up. I'm not this, so be, be patient, I'm the one making my own videos, like I don't have like a great camera, you know. I don't have like a crazy like lightning you know like I'm here at my house I'm living at the studio but I just want to say thank you so much for being patient thank you so much for subscribing coming back and sharing this video and if you are out there you know thinking that it's gonna be another repeat year it's gonna be really bad or it's gonna be you know you you have a situation that you don't know how you're gonna get out of it you know like don't let those thoughts get in your head I mean, try to take them out right away because you have a father who holds the world in his hands. Like, that's your God. That's your father who loves you so much. So just keep believing that God has the best interest for you. Just pray and communicate, you know, with God. And just be, you know, just ask for what you need and be up. And like, you know, I was praying you know before the year started because i was like i just want to be home at peace and quiet because i before the year starts i just want to be praying you know and i was like god i don't really like what's happening here i don't like what's this i don't like about this and just being honest and saying to god you know <clears throat> tell me where i should go what should i do with my brand where where is my next direction and um I'm just communicating because you have, you know, he's your dad, your dad, your father who loves you so much, who's there waiting for you to ask for help. So whatever it is, don't ever let Satan put thoughts of hopelessness in your head. That is not, that's so a lie. God has the best interest for you. God is there. God is just everything. Like, I mean, everything that's been going on and the situation that i've been happening and the situation that i have with my mom being sick is like i don't know what i'll be like without jesus like thank you jesus for everything and i might not have mentioned my mom being sick but i am going to talk about that it's a big subject in my family obviously it's one of the hardest things i've been through but i'm just here guys being up and just and sharing my testimony because I know we're all connected and I'm sure somebody else is going through something similar and you know I'm just saying whatever things get really bad like don't let Satan like lie to you and like make you believe things that are not true especially about yourself um I'm getting all emotional but anyways I just want to say just hang in there God is with you communicate pray to God and ask for what you need and He's, he's there with you whatever you need okay thank you again so much for coming back thank you so much for subscribing and i hope to see you in the next video bye